guys at Chantel. We finally got a sunny day here in Oregon, so we're gonna take advantage of it. We're taking out the 2020 Malibu 23 MXZ and we wanted to show you what it's about. So we're getting our ballast full and I just want to talk about some of the interior features on this boat that are newer or things that Malibu has been starting to put in some of their models and that they've brought into this one. The bow is really spacious in this boat. You can easily fit three adults comfortably. There's also a little bit of storage up front and access to your dry storage, which is really cool. Uh, batteries are up in the bow, so it leaves you more storage underneath the side compartment on the port side of the boat. So a place to put skis, boards, anything like that. But batteries up front gives you more weight up there and makes the boat handle and ride a little bit nicer. Something I really like about this model and kind of what Malibu is leaning towards now is they've they've kept the command center really um, really similar to how it's been, but it's new for 2020. And then you have the touchscreen controls on the left hand side, and your um, your sport dash is over on the right hand side. So your cell phone is over out of the way. The volume knob isn't going to get bumped or knocked or anything like that. So good change for sure to have that over here. They've also started putting the glove box um, more in a. It's a flatter and inset into the dash, so it gives the driver a little bit better line of sight, which is just a little more comfortable. You don't have to kind of do this to see over on the on the left-hand side of the boat, which is great. Um, subwoofer is all built in and has a cool panel on it now, so it's flatter and it's not going to get um, kicked or bumped or broken or anything like that. It's all built in aluminum, which is cool. Um, when you get the heater, you still get your driver's feet heater, so it's nice to be the driver because you always have that blowing right on your toes. And then flip up bolster on the seat. You can get the seat where it swivels and slides or where it just slides if you don't want to turn around. And they've made it now so you can really put your leg over the side and kind of turn in the driver's seat while you're driving um, rather than having to sit straight forward. So that's kind of a cool change too. They've added USB charging ports all throughout the boat. So you've got places to charge phones or anything like that. And then cell phone holders all along. They've taken away some cup holders, but they've given you the cell phone holders because you know cup holders end up full of cell phones and sunscreen and things anyway. So they've just omitted some cup holders and given you the, the cell phone holders. The trash can is easy access. There's a little flip up door so nobody has to move to get to the trash can. And then the cooler is just underneath the seat and it's a removable cooler so it's easy to pull out and clean when you're done using it. The Wakeview bench seat that's available on this boat is really cool. It's similar to the one, or it's the same one that they've had it, they have in the 25 LSE where you can bring the back of the boat a little more forward. You can pull it forward and if you only have a crew of two or three, you can um, bring everybody up closer so even though it's a bigger, longer boat, you can pull them up a little closer. Then you can also flip it around, make it, use it as a table or uh, for Wakeview seating. For surfing, we've set this boat up by filling all four of the hard ballast tanks as well as the plug and play bags in the rear. So it's an L-shaped ballast tank in the rear and we've plumbed the, the custom fit bags in so we are taking advantage of even more ballast with that. We're also using the Power Wedge 3 and surf gate and then setting our cruise control. So that's how we're setting up our surf weight here. I like the wedge in a position one or a two just so I don't have, um, so it's not so steep and rampy and just pushing me into the swim platform. I like it a little longer and less steep. Uh, for the other rider, we had it at a four. So a little more push, shorter and steeper, rampier weight. That's one of the coolest things about the Power Wedge. Um, we didn't have to dump any ballast, we didn't have to move people or anything. So between two rider sizes and preferences, we can totally transform the weight from something that's super steep and rampy to something that's really, really long and less steep. So all different kinds of ability levels and sizes of riders, uh, just push of a button, you're gonna be able to totally change the weight.
is amazing, awesome. Super, tons of push, I can get super far back in the pocket and still make my way up to the boat. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Freezing, but fun. The rule in Oregon is if the air temperature and the water temperature equal at least 100 degrees when you add them together, that we're going. Today the water temperature was 49.7 degrees and the air temperature was 52, so we made it. <laughs> One of the cool things I think about this MXZ, even over the other MXZs in the Malibu line, is that even though it has the walkthrough, they have given a pop-up pylon for skiers. So that's a really cool feature. That way the skier doesn't have to be just on the grab handle at the transom of the boat. There's actually a pop-up pylon you can use for tubing or for a skier. Not that this would be an amazing ski boat by any means, but it's there in case anybody just wants to get out and rip a few turns. The walkthrough on this one, typically when you open up the walkthrough area, it just gives you the engine compartment, but this one also has a warming tray. So you can open up the hatches and get to your warming tray, um, more like what you're going to see in uh, the traditional bow LSV series and some of the some of the other boats in the Malibu line. So it's kind of cool. They're taking some elements that I really like from the LSV series and bringing them into the MXE series with this boat, which is cool. Best of both worlds for sure. The Malibu lines can the the, um, the different models can get a little bit confusing, but really the MXE series is going to be the pickle forks with the walkthrough in the back, and then the LSV series is going to be more of a traditional bow with a full sun deck in the back. So in this MXZ you're going to get nice big open space in the bow of the boat, plenty of room for three people, and then you're going to have a walk through in the back with an optional filler cushion here so you could have that full sun deck feel if you wanted it. Final thoughts on this boat? Awesome. It was really good. The wake is in true Malibu fashion was amazing and they've taken some of the things that I really love about the LSV series and brought them into the MXZ series and I feel like they've made a really well-rounded boat. It handles really nice and it's just, yeah, and it's Malibu. It's super fun to drive and it was, it was a blast. today. I hope you like the boat. If you have any questions about it, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Hit like if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more stuff like this. And we'll see you on the water.